If you only know the 1950s from old sitcoms, you might think they were an era of bland suburban life. A decade of station wagons, cookouts, shopping centers, crew cuts, poodle skirts, and TV dinners. In reality, it was an era of dynamic change. Americans were emerging from 15 grim years of depression and war. Their long-delayed dreams of prosperity and romance were finally coming true. They wanted to read fiction that reflected the fashion and glamour that had returned to their world. The new prosperity also affected magazines. Advertising revenues rose, allowing the Post to print larger, more colorful illustrations of their stories. And that's why Kobe Whitmore was in such demand. His first work for the Post, an illustration for a love story, appeared in 1946. By 1950, he was illustrating covers. His early work was good, but it really didn't set him apart from other Post illustrators. But with time, he developed a talent for capturing sophistication, sensuality, and drama. He also added touches of abstract expressionism, a trend that dominated fine art in the era. He worked to make his characters both realistic and idealized. And he kept up with fashion, so his people wore clothes that would still be stylish when the illustration appeared in a magazine over seven months later. Just as important as what he put into his picture is what he left out. He was among the artists pioneering a minimal, dramatic style. They removed details in scenes that distracted the eye, painting only the items that contributed to the narrative. In the 1960s, he even began introducing an element of Impressionism into his post-work. The paintings he left behind are a tribute to his imagination and his skill and a reflection of a generation's dreams of stylish homes, beautiful clothes, and a happy ever after with the boy next door. This video is brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive for only $15 a year. Subscribe today.